two years of fighting against COVID and six months after Singapore announced its COVID strategy transition from zero COVID to living with the virus. Uh, this is so far uh, the biggest leap that the city state has taken. Starting from today, let me go through the measures with you first. Uh, starting from today, Singapore authorities will double the size of social gatherings from five to 10 people. 75% of the employees who have been working from home will be allowed to get back to the office. Uh, the current uh, alcohol curfew at 10.30 will be lifted, so F&Bs, restaurants, bars will continue to uh, entertain their guests after 10.30. Large-scale events such as gala dinners, corporate DNA, D, uh, DNDs, uh, weddings, uh, and uh, big size birthday celebrations will be able to resume. Now, in the context of travel, Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said Singapore will drastically streamline testing and quarantine requirements, making traveling abroad easier, almost like pre-COVID times. Now, during the announcement uh, last Thursday, Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said that the country's fight against COVID-19 has reached a major turning point. Now, the thinking of this easing, um, as, you, as you asked me, is because that the city-state has ridden the Omicron wave. Uh, new daily cases uh, stood at uh, 4,925 as of yesterday. Now, that is uh, drastically down from a record of uh, 26,000 uh, uh, infections in February. Also, more importantly, the data show that almost everyone who's eligible to get vaccinated has been vaccinated. 92% of its population have received two doses and 71% have received their third shot, the booster shots. 